here we have question number three again this is short answer questions for part b anderson is an accountant hired by companies to help with financial tasks he works from home and travels around the country visiting clients he uses a laptop computer for personal and work related tasks he has confidential information stored on his laptop which include which includes personal and financial information when traveling anderson uses a vpn to a virtual private network to access his home network explain two benefits to Anderson of using a VPN. Now, even if you don't know what VPNs are, again, as I've said time and time, and I will continue to say, the words explain what the thing is. And if you have a relatively decent grasp of the English language, that should tell you everything you need to know. Most of us here know what a virtual, what, what does virtual mean? A virtual world is like a game world, a, a world that's not real, a world that's been created. So a fake world, essentially. So virtual meaning not real, private and network, private meaning somewhat secure, somewhat isolated. So my, my private home network, I have Virgin at home, right? My private home network, only the people within my household have access to my network. Even though other people might be able to see my network, they don't have access to it. And network, we already know what network is, right? So private and virtual, that's how we start to, to, um, to break down these things. So the two benefits of Anderson now, again, I'm going to switch over to the exam answers and explain in as much detail as possible. So VPN, the laptop connection will be secure, stroke encrypted. What is encryption again? When you encrypt something, it means that you jumble the characters. This is a very simple way to put it. You jumble the characters so that if someone who's not supposed to have access to that thing or that message gets access to it, what they see is a bunch of scrambled rubbish. It won't mean anything to them. And the time it would take for them to actually decrypt that message is probably going to be useless to them at some point. Um, the encryption algorithms you being used now would take an average single computer or a single person, uh, in, in many cases, dozens or hundreds of years to break the encryption. Next, um, even when using a non-secure open network preventing unauthorized access to his laptop, meaning... Whenever you guys go to a coffee shop or a McDonald's or wherever and you see those open Wi-Fi's, I highly, highly, highly suggest you do not use them unless you have a VPN installed and working on your laptop, your phone or your tablet. Because what could happen, because it's an open network and anyone has access to it, people with enough knowledge and skill can actually snoop packets where they actually see everything that's going in and out and they can actually look into it. So the VPN essentially creates a secure tunnel and only even though people can see that there's traffic in the tunnel, let's say, they cannot see what color cars are being driven or if cars are being driven, if trucks or vans or motorbikes, they cannot see what's inside the tunnel, but they just know there's traffic there. Another benefit is that Anderson can use public stroke shared networks securely, which could save him money compared to him paying for high-speed mobile data connections. That is correct. Rather than all this is saying, rather than using his mobile hotspot to do everything which in most cases most people don't have unlimited data um, he could just use one of those shared networks again i mentioned before uh, the mcdonald's one or the the costa coffee one where they just give you the wi-fi password and you can do whatever you want having a vpn and using those networks means that let's say for example i only have uh, 10 or 15 gigabytes on my phone if i were to be working from my hotspot every single day doing whatever this person is doing it's going to run out it's going to finish if i use those public networks i have a better chance of getting my work done without ever having to use my hotspot that's all that this section here is saying next we have improved privacy when using shared computers as all traffic is kept inside the secure vpn tunnel right that's what i was mentioning earlier when you use a vpn it creates a uh, a virtual tunnel let's just leave it at a virtual tunnel which says okay everything going in and out of this tunnel is encrypted is secured so when using multiple pcs uh, or or sharing a pc with someone it's fine because your traffic that you've logged in and you're using at that current moment because the vpn is active it's all encrypted so it doesn't matter if someone else comes and uses it later on and their traffic is not encrypted because yours is you shouldn't have any issues now, this is one I'm assuming most people would be aware of. So when traveling to foreign locations, can gain access to websites blocked by local service providers. Let's work backwards, right? Local service providers are simply companies within the country you're in that provide you internet. 
these are typically labeled as ISPs or internet service providers, but sometimes you just see as local service providers as well. Um, as you guys well and know, some content on Netflix is blocked to us here in the UK. However, if you use a VPN on the website or on the app when you're on your mobile phone or tablet, then you can actually gain access to some of the stuff blocked here in the UK by changing your location to, let's say, somewhere like France, Germany, or America, where they might have the shows that you want to watch. Exactly the same principle here. But don't just think of this as only websites. For this scenario, uh, what's his name again? Anderson is using websites. But generally speaking, once you change your location on a device, it changes your IP address. And because it changes your IP address, it sees that device as being somewhere else. So even if you open an app or website, whatever you open is going to see your device as being somewhere else.